Workplace Futures 2013 took place on the 12th of February at the Crystal Siemens Building in London's Docklands. The theme for the conference was Strategic Partnership, Securing the Future for FM. We spoke to some of the speakers and delegates attending the event about some of the key issues raised during the day. This film looks at energy and sustainability in FM and the future of buildings in the UK. I think it's not so much politics, I actually think it's understanding, actually understanding the impact of energy pricing over the next decade, two decades, is really, really difficult for many organisations still. I think when you understand the challenges around just how much it can cost you and what you therefore now need to do, I think then boards and organisations absolutely will change. But I still think there's a huge amount of lack of understanding around this, which is still quite a recent issue for the industry and for many of our clients. I think that will really change in the next three years. I think the main issue is actually the word energy. Uh, because it's not about energy, it's about consumption, so it's more than energy. So in the facilities arena, and part of my paper says that, uh, it's about energy, it's about water, it's about consumption, and it's about the whole of the industry and the effects that um, infrastructure and the facility has on the environment and the communities around it. And there's a real opportunity for FM companies to reduce consumption, and consumption is the issue, and energy is just an element of that. Um, so this building is, is excellent you know, because this is um, a forerunner for sustainability in terms of the built environment, in terms of energy, water uh, and the effect on, on communities. So I think energy is important but I think consumption is as important. Well, one of the issues in the UK of course, and, and Tim was talking about redesigning the workspace and effective workspaces, is that I think the figures are something around 70% of the UK workspace is in old buildings. Uh, so old building stock. So one of the issues the UK has to get to this future state is the current building stock um, in the UK and how you can adapt those facilities to make them effective work environments for the people that work in. So there is a big issue in the UK about that. So yes, sustainable cities and new cities and new developments, that's great, but how do we adapt existing building stock to get the same productivity um, uh, rates uh, from those people so I think that's that's an issue that wasn't touched on today which is the investment profiles for the for the existing building stock in the UK. Um, I personally believe that people like to have a landing space and a kind of collective environment to work together and it's um, and while the, the traditional workplace is changing I, I find it difficult to visualize a situation where there isn't a traditional office environment I think we'll always want to land somewhere as such. Um, from the perspective of how it's changing, I think the voice of the consumer, this is the age of the voice of the consumer, um, social media and so on, uh, give people an immediate and quite a loud voice in terms of their expectations. And I think that um, we as an industry need to really focus on, on the experience, on the unique, authentic experience of users of buildings um, in the same way that, for example, uh, we're seeing the emergence again of the bed and breakfast as opposed to the low-cost hotel on the basis that people want authentic experience. And I think, um, as I said earlier, I think we as, a, as an industry uh, hold the keys to, 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 really, um, to really improving that consumer experience. I think anything that's uh, very, very long term, we tend to put off. And for an example, you know, uh, you talk to young people about pensions and most young people don't want to even consider that. Uh, when you get a little bit later in life, like me, then uh, pensions start to get quite important. And then when you get to retire, it's, my goodness, I wish I'd planned for my pension and my retirement. So I do think there's a natural human in inclination to put things off. But I think the very fact that the government has put some key dates in place, and we spoke today about 2050 being a turning point, um, that uh, we have to recognise that things need to be done by that time. So for example, if you think about the fact that most of the building stock that will be around by 2050 is actually being built or has been built at this stage already, um, kind of shows that we need to address some of those issues now. So, yeah, we might not want to face those issues because they're a long time away, but we really, really have to recognise that we need to do something now. Mm -hmm.